How's it going, folks? It's your man Justin here. Uh, coming to you guys. Uh, I just want to do a quick uh, vlog. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in to Wesley's Way. All right. I really do appreciate all the support that I'm getting uh, from the people on, on Facebook and uh, a lot of my people talk to me on Twitter. Um, I, I'm just very passionate about helping young men uh, get to that next level. All right. And I speak more specifically for the young men because one, uh, I am a man. Um, and two, I really feel like um, it's on us, all right, to be leaders of our culture, okay? Uh, the men are the leaders of the culture, all right? And I'm not saying that to be misogynistic. I'm not saying that to be chauvinistic. I'm just telling the truth, all right? I'm a history major, all right? Name me one society throughout history that has, uh, I guess, prevailed when men weren't the leaders of the culture, Okay, don't worry, I'll wait. Name me one society that has prevailed throughout history without men being the leaders of the culture. And don't worry, I'll wait. Okay, so a lot of the things that I talk about is, is to inspire and to help young men reach their full potential. Okay, so uh, I feel like once the men of the culture, once they boss up, level up, the women will follow. I feel like um, personally in the black community, um, you know, we go, we'll talk about all the, the racism and all of this and all of that, all right? But I really feel like it's on the men, all right? It's on the men to step up and to be leaders, all right? But <clears throat> when you step up and you become a leader and you lead righteously, you got all your ducks in a row, okay? Young man, now you get to pick a suitable mate okay so you don't have to deal with the product that you're giving you don't have to accept the product that you're giving all right so i believe that as a young man if you spend more time focusing on yourself than not here chasing skirts okay when it's time to choose you'll have a little bit more leverage you have a few more options okay uh you can have a little bit more negotiating power once you become financially stable all right, you have a little bit more negotiating power uh, once you, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> once you uh, uh, advance in your career, you'll have a little bit more uh, negotiating power once you become a homeowner. All right, once you get out of debt, all of these things, all of these different financial things, and all these different educational and skills that you need to have. Okay, these are just tools in your tool belts that gives you leverage leverage to negotiate and i'm talking about leverage over women leverage over your job leverage over just all of the outside sources that are meant to hold you down young man okay you have to work on yourself in order to get leverage all right give me a second here. I, i'm very passionate about this okay because i feel like there are you know, many way more sources out there giving men, I'm mean, giving women, uh, uh, um, I guess, uh, encouragement. All these different sources telling women to uh, be the best version of themselves, to not take this and to not take that. All right. But where is the source for the men? Okay. Every time someone comes out there and stands up for the man and tells them uh, and gives a man's perspective or tell how a man feels about the situation. Um, the women they feel attacked. They feel attacked. They feel <laughs> they feel threatened because this 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 whole fake feminism movement within the black community has uh, told our women that uh, black men are their enemy. All right, and when you look at the really the grassroots and, and the history behind the feminist movement, all right, it was a movement by white women to I guess come from up underneath the thumbs of the white husbands. All right, and just like all democratic movements, in order for uh, the democratic and the liberal movements to uh, advance, they need the support of black people. All right, so they went into the black community and uh, basically destroyed the family unit. All right, you look at the family unit before segregation, all right, pre segregation days, Jim Crow days, okay, we're talking about almost 80% of all black people were married, all right, because that's what. We believe in traditional culture, marriage, the family unit, okay? But then you had these white 
liberal feminist women who came in and said, hey, men are the problem. You don't need a man. You can do everything a man does. All right. And that's not the case. All right. It's we have biological specialization. All right. I can't do what a woman does. All right. And no, and no way in hell am I going to try to do what a woman does. All right. But for some reason, you have a whole culture of, of women out there who believe that they're, I guess, I don't know, equal to men. And when I say equal, I'm not talking about like, yes, we all equal in the eyes of God. OK, cool. But there are certain things that a woman, that a man can do that a woman shouldn't even try to do. I believe that. I believe strictly. I believe strongly in gender roles. Okay. I believe in biological specialization. Okay. I'm not finna go out here and try to have babies. I can't. I biologically can't. All right. I know that I'm not the most nurturing person in the world. All right. But what I am is I'm a hard worker. I'm a leader of a business. Uh, uh, <laughs> I pay bills. All right. I don't like paying all the bills. I don't like doing all these things. But personally, I feel like I have a chance and the opportunity to make a little bit more money than my wife. All right. And I'm not saying that she's not capable. I'm not saying that she's not able. I'm just saying that as a man, I am driven, hard driven to be a provider, a protector. All right. I was raised in the South by, uh, 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 by my grandmother. All right, so a lot of these new age ideas of what relationships should be and how men and women should uh, interact with each other, it don't fly with me. All right, I'm a traditional conservative black man. All right, <laughs> so a lot of these things and a lot of the things that I say um, come off as chauvinistic because y'all are not used to traditional men. Okay, you want the man to take on a traditional role. All right, but a lot of women don't want to be traditional women. And that just is what it is, okay? Um, a lot of women, they want to be able to date men that they don't qualify for, okay? Men, we know when we out of our league. We know when we out kick our coverage. But for some reason, um, you have a culture, a generation, and a whole race of women out there who think that they can have it all. They want love. They want affection. They want you to be a sexual superhero. They want you to be a, a Fortune 500 CEO um, in order to just get basic, decent respect. Basic human decency. Okay, so these are some of the things that I have a problem with. And it's not just me and my personal journey, right? Uh, it's about all of the men that come into my inbox and, 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 and talk to me personally about the same thing and we can't say that it's all the men all right because i'm talking about dudes that are good dudes i ain't talking about your trappers your scammers and your shammers i'm talking about lawyers doctors i'm talking about you know dudes who are in the church like like you in the church and you can't even find a good woman all right and it's not because the men aren't doing their thing okay so i preach you know male empowerment Male empowerment, male and male, black male specifically. I speak for the black males, but I, but all men. All right, I'm the one who's trying to put them on game to tell them, hey, look, okay, if you want to be able to court a woman and you want to be able to uh, uh, demand that woman's respect, you gotta have. It's a checklist of things that you gotta have, okay. And and it's 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 cool if you don't have all those things on no checklist, but if you don't. Here's what you have to be prepared for. Spicy mouth. Attitude. Unruly behavior. Okay? So, and that's not... <laughs> and that's across all races. Alright? It's not a race thing. It's not a white woman thing. It's not a black woman thing. It's just a modern woman thing. Okay? The more freedoms and privileges that they get, the more they feel like they can talk trash to you. It, because you ain't got yours all the way together all right the more degrees they get the more they're gonna talk to you talk crazy to you the more money that they get I, the more money a woman gets i mean her eels just disappear all right she ain't trying to hear nothing you say okay and it's crazy for me because i feel like the interaction between man and woman should be natural it should be um i don't know naturally pleasant but in the black community, it seems like our relationships are becoming more and more transactional, okay? She's not even gonna treat you with basic decency, respect, and 
if you if you can't give her something, if you can't provide something for her, all right. So these are just things. It, it, it eats me alive because uh, you know I got married very quickly. All right, by most standards, okay. But I already knew that I saw the qualities in my wife, and when you know, once you know, you know. All right, so we got married very quickly, and so when I popped out uh, and, and, and to the world with my marriage, man, I had more dudes telling me about the horror stories of their wet of their marriage than the word positivity. And I'm like, like, bro, like you married, like, bro, like you committed yourself to that woman. You pay her bills, you take care of the kids, all the responsibilities, and she still talk crazy to you? You do all of these things, provide all of these things to this woman, and you still got to come up with creative strategies in order to cohabitate co with this woman? All right, so for me, I'm just like, you know, I love women. I love my wife, okay? We have our ups and downs, but I mean, who don't? Right? But at the end of the day, there has to be some, some type of level of respect between man and woman and we'll get more specific black man and black woman that doesn't re require the man to fork over cash in some form or fashion all right so um i'm just here listen this thing is gonna take off man wesley's way i got a lot of people who, who feel like i do i got a lot of men who want to come in and, and come on and say different things but we all know that as a man if you're not following the woman's lead, all right? She either tries to control you or she tries to control the narrative about you, all right? And so I'm, I, my, my thing is I'm teaching men how to get out of this simp mentality um, and really rise up and take control of themselves, all right? Too many men out here are, have, uh, got the nuts in a pinch by the woman because you need that female validation. You need her to tell you that you're that you're strong. You need her to tell you that you're worthy. All right, but at the same time, as soon as you make a half a mistake or she sees you uh, uh, doing something that's not that doesn't make sense to her, she's gonna bash you. She's gonna talk crazy to you. All right, and I'm not saying this is all women thing. It's not all black women thing. But I mean, hey, I feel like it's an overwhelming majority. All right. So, uh, <laughs> listen, I know I'm ranting, I know I'm going on, but I just feel like, look, man, black men get hard pressed from every different angle, all right? There's a ton of different entities out there that have, that do not have the, the interest, the best interest of the black man, okay? The child support system is against us. The court system is against us. The criminal justice system is against us. Okay, so who is for the black man? Who is for the black man? Because in my opinion, you got to be damn near a superhero to get a smidgen of respect from a black woman. Right? That's just how I feel. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I have several proofs across several different puddings to prove and back up what I'm saying. Okay, we can go. We can talk about stats. We can talk about statistics. We can talk. At, we can talk about all of that. But at the end of the day, something has to happen within the black community where the family is more important than our individual prides and ego. Okay, and if you want to talk about things from a Christian standpoint, a Christian point of view, I'm from the South. I have Christian views. All right, none of them other Christian views like you other like them. You know them. We gonna get into all that. But the man is supposed to be the leader of the house. The woman is supposed to come second and then the children come afterwards. All right. God comes first. It's God, man, woman, children. All right. But for some reason, you know, we can't get along. We as black men and black women, we can't get along. All right. And I know why. Because there is a whole culture out there that's telling women that they don't need men. And that's not the case. See, men understand that we need women. All right, men understand that, you know, we need women. Men know that. Men know we need women. It's not just for sexual desires. It's men know that there are things that women can do that we just can't. Men understand that there are different um, skill sets that women have that are beneficial to us. Okay, but some reason this toxic feminist culture has come out and tell women 
that you don't need men. You can do it all by yourself. You can raise a family by yourself. You can, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> you can work, be a, a mother, and all of these things. And it's just not the case, okay? Uh, realistically speaking, you can't have it all. And that's just what it is. You can't have everything. You can't have everything. Somewhere, somehow, you're going to have to sacrifice a part of what you want in order to fulfill your duty your duty as a mother your duty as a wife your duty as a, a, a sister a aunt okay you can't have it all but they're they're telling you guys that you can have it all you can do everything that man does you, you, you can work you can be a, a housewife you can, but that's not the case and sometimes like this culture of making women think that they can be bosses and ceos and housewives it's making the family unit suffer all right so when i come off and i talk about how men aren't treating I mean, how women aren't treating men right and how men aren't stepping up and doing the right thing it's not because i'm trying to bash either side it's because i'm a conservative black man and i know that the family unit is the most important it's the the family the family the family is the is the most fundamental block of society okay who you are raised to be inside of that individual household is who you become out here into society all right so if you was raised in a single parent household i mean we already know the, the statistics and facts tell you guys that single parent households have a greater likelihood of living in poverty all right a man that comes from a single parent household has a greater likelihood of being a convicted felon okay so i don't understand why men women can't get along okay we were put on this earth to love and procreate all right and create all right but for some reason men and women can't get along right the women the men don't want to hear spicy mouth and attitude and the women want to feel like they are uh, uh provided for and cared about all right so i'm just here to tell you guys okay in order for the black community to bounce back or in order for the black community to become what you guys want it to be all right if you want to change the status of black people you got to bring back the family unit you got to you got to stop the baby daddy baby mama culture and you got to put two minds together two heads two incomes in order to build some type of wealth so you can give your kids a better life all right that's all i'm talking about all right so if you a single mother and you can't work it out with your bd all right that's on you that's on you if you want child support my dude and you want to sit up here and talk about the things your bd doing your be your baby mama doing that's on you all right if y'all two consenting adults chose to lay down and bring a kid into this world then y'all should be grown enough to negotiate come together get married and raise a child and raise a family the way that it's supposed to be done okay i'm tired of all of this co-parenting i'm i'm tired of all of this 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 shacking up and all of this now listen man listen I'm not holier than thou. I'm not self-righteous. Listen, when I was a kid, when I was a child, I thought as a child, I acted as a child. But when I came a man, I put my childish ways to the side. And I just feel like there are a lot of adult children, men, women, who can't get it together. And it's making your children suffer. All right? So if you guys had a baby out of wedlock, I would encourage you guys to try to work on it for the sake of the kids. All right? So with that being said, this is Wesley Way. Hey, listen. Stay in tune with yourself, young man. Put your purpose first. Put your purpose before any and everything. Okay? Follow your purpose and the men... I'm sorry. Follow your purpose and the women and children will follow. Right? Thank you guys for tuning in.